After playing a couple rounds of Apex Legends, I have some thoughts. Battle Royales have played a big part in ruining the gaming industry, not because of the game itself, but because of the shady business practices that plague the gaming industry. It's a genre that seems to require almost no effort if almost every gaming company could just add it in without a second thought. What's up everybody, Direct back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about something that's just been bugging me. Did EA sabotage Titanfall? I never realized how much I really liked Respawn Entertainment until now, which I'll definitely talk about, but I'll save that reason for later. For now, let's talk about Titanfall. Back when Titanfall was being marketed, it looked extremely good compared to the competition, Call of Duty and Battlefield. It was sort of a breath of fresh air in all of this heap and muck. I literally went out and bought myself an Xbox just to play this game. That's how excited I was for it. And man, I gotta say, the gameplay was fantastic. Even on controllers, it felt silky smooth. Oh my goodness. But... I could not deny the fact that the campaign was just a joke, and the game itself just lacked a lot of content, like, I literally unlocked everything when I got to level 14. The game just felt completely rushed, it was just like another EA product that just got dropped on the market. It also didn't help that EA made an exclusive deal with Microsoft, because at the time, the original Xbox One was getting backlash from a lot of people, and since that didn't sell well... Well, Titanfall didn't sell well either. So as much as I liked the gameplay, I just dropped the game because there just wasn't enough to do. I mean, they eventually added more content, but I just really didn't feel like going back. But one thing that I will say about it is that it was innovative for its time. To my surprise, EA thought that the first Titanfall was good enough to warrant a sequel. But the most puzzling thing about it is that it was slated to release at a time when Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty were both about to release. Now, Titanfall 2 released ahead of these two mega franchises, but that really didn't do much to help because a lot of people that played the first game, including myself, all still had that sour taste from the first one. It kind of prompted a lot of people to do a hard pass on Titanfall 2. I was also in that camp. I did a hard pass, and I picked up Battlefield 1, and I really regretted that. While I thought that Battlefield 1's visuals looked extremely good, I ended up really not liking the gameplay because it felt a lot like EA's version of Battlefront, almost as if it was a copy and paste. It wasn't until about a year after release that I realized how much of a fantastic game Titanfall 2 was. It was a massive improvement over the last one with a short but solid single player story mode. There was 10 times more content to keep people around, and the gameplay was once again, amazing. Although I would argue that the titans in the first one were better than the ones in the second one, like they just felt like they survived a little longer in the first one, because in the second one they just felt like they died a little too fast in my opinion. But aside from that, Respawn had made a solid game here. I had also learned that this game was made using the Source Engine, I was like, wait, what? That's impressive. But a lot of the problems seemed to be outside of Respawn's hands, like they were never truly able to spread their wings. That's why it almost feels like sabotage. Now, I don't have any evidence, but the coincidences seem convenient. The exclusivity deal with Microsoft that may or may not have rushed Titanfall 1, releasing the second game at a time when it just could not compete with other games. Who really puts out the dates? The publisher. EA has a track record of shutting down studios for not performing well. And I say that with my ha my two fingers going up and down. Both Titanfalls made enough money to get their money back, but EA is not in the business to break even. They want games that make more than the previous year. And if that doesn't happen, well, they were definitely going to be the next ones on the chopping block. But, because Respawn Entertainment, the innovators of our time, once again took an oversaturated market and innovated it enough to make it feel genuinely fun and different, a lot of people noticed. Apex Legends probably has the most players than any other Battle Royale after just one week. Now, I really don't like battle royales for obvious reasons but don't get it twisted i am not against fun if you're someone that really likes this genre battle royales then do not let me stop you have fun you know if this is your thing have at it but i am going to try my damnedest to stay as far away as possible because it just worries me for the future of AAA games ea is currently in the mindset of replacing single players with battle royales which is pretty scary if you ask me but at the very least respawn entertainment has been spared can't say the same for bioware though but anyways hopefully we'll get to see a titanfall 3 because that franchise just has so much potential for ea to squander but then again this is EA we're talking about. Alright, well, I just wanted to talk about this. Uh, it's something out of the ordinary. If you guys like this video, you know, like it up. Let me know what you thought down in the comments down below. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.